All right, so this is the beginning of part four. Let me clarify something before I depart from part, um, um, the last one is part three with it. I asked you to create the, um, the dialog box for this is file new and you come down here where it says activity, empty activity, uh, empty activity, this right here. And you did this for the five uh, empty activities, one, two, three, four, five. I want to point this out really quick right here is, I'll, let me move this into the screen here. Um, you named it. I'm, I'm not, you know, I assume you did all of this with it as well. So we did all of this stuff right here, right? In this last uh, example, number one, two, three, four, whatever it is. And then uh, let's say I'll, I'll do five um, dot um, activity, like, like this right here with it, right? I want to point this out very important. Do not enable this launcher activity right here. Leave this disable for me. Do not check this right here, all right? Because the only one we created that generates the main activity is that's the that's that's the one. This file right here is the main file that you would launch the activity. You do not launch the activity for one, two, three, four, five. That's what I want. I want to make sure you understand that with it. So when this when, when you when we actually compile this uh, into the simulator, it looks for the main activity. Do not check the box. Or launcher activity for one two three four five I just want to make sure that's clear uh, what I just said right here with it all right that's all uh, I'm gonna cancel this I'm just gonna move this out of the way and cancel this so we're not gonna we, we create all five uh, activities in here with it as well so um, uh, somebody's gonna do it I know you guys are gonna do it so let me let me just I, I need to put this in writing for you uh, in here with it so uh, let me just put So let me, I, I need, based on what I just share with you, I'm, I'm bringing in a notepad in there. Let me, um, I type this up and I want you to make sure that you understand and make a note of this, that all activity has been created, not the main activity. So uh, it's called the main activity, thus you should not check the, do not check the launcher activity for the one, two, three, four, five files with it, okay? So do not do that with it. So I just want to put that in writing if you knew with it as well. All right, let me pause for a second, zoom back out for, for a moment. So next I need, I want to talk to you about uh, this file called AndroidManifest.xml with it, AndroidManifest.xml with it. I'm going to click on it. And I'm, I'm going to just go through just really quick with it. Um, I'm, like I said, you don't have to do anything in this file. You don't have to do anything in, in, in this file with it. What this file does is that it pulls from your activity underscore main.xml. This file, this manifest up here that I'm pointing at, pulls this, comes from your activity underscore uh, main.xml. Your main dot uh, xml pulls from all these other files that you're linking to now uh, there are layouts and you see how this layout here is generated from your java code you can kind of link the the, the the puzzles together with it so all these files talk to each other is my point the manifest the android manifest file is the file that actually connects you to the activity to each of your example one two three four five and so on, mainly your activity, your activity underscore main. These two files talk to each other. The instruction between the two that talks between them is the main Java, main activity that Java, all right, that actually makes that request to it as well. So that's why I want to talk to you about is that part with it. All right, let me move on. Let me move on. Uh, let me come down here and I will, I want to talk to you about uh, uh, if, uh, if you can open up your main uh, underscore ma uh, activity underscore main dot xml this file right here all right so can you see that with it I have a little 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 wider screen with it let me uh, with it so um, what I like to do show you is the upper right hand corner here and man, again the only way you can get the screen is you have to look at the the, the dot XML. That's how you get the screen right there. The screen right now is layout is it's uh, I have right now. If you look at where my cursor is pointing in the upper right hand corner, you see where it says code, split, and design. Code looks like this. This is what your entire screen looks like under code. What am I looking at? This is activity underscore main dot XML. The split splits it. You have the code and your design. 
and the design is no code, right? So, uh, depending on how you want to look at it, but there's three mode. You can think three mode or three views of the XML file. Code, split, and design, okay? So, whatever you do in the design, you can actually, it will code it for you. Or, you can code it and it puts a design vice versa as well, all right? So it's kind of like a wigsy wig if you want to think about it looking like that with it. All right, so these, if you look at these code split and design, is like the mode that you can actually set it into as well with it. All right, so three modes, you know, three different types of save, but the only way you can get this is if you have to open up the, uh, the XML file. All XML files will allow you to see the three modes. That's what you're looking at with it. So you could do, I'm going to work as much as possible in the design that writes the code for you. So we're going to drag and drop some things in here with it as well. So uh, make sure you have, when you click on it, make sure the tab you are working on says activity underscore main dot XML. And when you click on, on the left, make sure you are working in the right tab. So mine is underscore here. You see where it says kind of like a little highlight? Well, my cursor is pointing and it tells me I'm working in the activity underscore dot main with it as well. Okay. So I'm going to drag and drop uh, as, as many as I can with it. This will automatically generate a lot of the uh, things that we're going to do with it. So the first thing I like to do is for you to drag over some buttons. So if you click on the palette over here where it says, uh, where it says buttons, and there's a subcategory for button. The, the, the palette has buttons with an S, plural, and then its subcategory has what's called button here as well. You see that? So I like for you to drag over, and we're gonna, you know, adjust the, the buttons in a second with it. But bear with me while you're while you're dragging this over. Just bring over. I need I need for you to bring over five buttons for five activities, right? So you saw that demonstration. So I'm just gonna drag over the first one, right? The center, top, somewhere in the middle. Don't worry about where it looks like what it looks like right now with it. All right, and just move it over a little bit so your looks like that. And and if you want to drag over another one of them like that, just drag it over, kind of center align it. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect right now because you, we're going to align all of this in a second. So do you have five of these? Okay. Well, the first one is going to be button, just button. And then after that, you know, like if I if I click on the first one. You notice the attribute for that button says just button, B O B an ID. It says B U T T O N. Just leave it alone with it, all right? I'm just going to move this to the left a little bit so it gets it close to the line with it as well. We'll fix all of this in a second. I just, this is the, the, the weird side of me coming out here. So each one of these, if I click on button, you notice the ID says button. If I click on the one underneath it, says it adds in button two. Click on the next one, it says button 3, button 4, button 5. You see that? So each one of these things uh, has a button that you come up and it automatically default. You cannot have two of the same ID button names. I can't call the first one button. I can't call the second one button. It has to be different. So the first one's called button. The second one's called button 2, button 3, button 4, button 5. It's an ID. ID is like a variable, all right? That's where it stores things in there with it. It has to be unique. You cannot have the same ID all along with it as well. Okay, so we're going to actually um, uh, come in, and I'm going to pause the video. Uh, uh, in other words, I'm going to work. I'm going to show you some things at first with it. I'd like for you to follow along with it and um, and kind of, kind, of, um, kind of work along with me, okay? So the button, the first one, if you come over to the right, you see where it says the plus sign, where it says the layout. Make sure your layout is, is uncollapsed, meaning it's pointing down. And you click on the plus sign for me. All right, we need to change some of these numbers in here. So the first one, we're going to come in. We're going to come in with the first one. Some numbers in here as well with it. So it's so over for you to see uh, what, what we're doing with it. So once you have expanded this, and uh, the first top number is we needed to give it 32. And if you type in 32 and hit enter, you see how uh, that kind of aligns it and puts it to the left, uh, the top to it. It's 32 SP uh, with it. And 16, if you give it the number 16 in the left 
enter and it moves it to the 16. The right, let's make that 16 as well. So uh, this is what it looks like. The uh, other thing I need for you to do is in the layout uh, underscore width, in the constraint with it, layout underscore width with it, if you can do a pull down on that, you see where it says 0dp? Okay, give that, meaning it stretches across the layout with the width with it as point dp. And keep it uh, as your uh, wrap content with it. So this is the first one, right? I want to come down to the second one. Same thing. Click on your button uh, with it and come over to your layout and, and open your uh, these three fields that's in the layout constraint with it. Top number I like for you to give is 24. On the left, I like for you to come in and give that 16, same as the same as the top. Uh, the right number, give that 16 as well. Enter, and then again, you're gonna come in at the bottom here is to do zero dp. So the moment you do that, that's actually gonna uh, lay out the width for the thing is the zero dp with it. So uh, that's the that's the content for that as well. Uh, that's the second one. The third button, we're gonna come in again, give that the same. Uh, parameters is what you have with it. Click on that plus, click on the left, and click on the right. The top number is 24. Again, enter. Uh, the left number is 16. The right number is also 16. And again, this is your 0dp constraint with it. All right, so that's the third button. Uh, make sure, again, I didn't change any of the IDs. Please note, okay, uh, ID still remains the same. Make sure your ID, just leave it away with it. Uh, third button, uh, the fourth button, I'm sorry, again, open up your, uh, your, your pluses, all your pluses on the top, your middle one, your left one. Do uh, your fourth one with it. I still like for you to do 24, 16, 16, 16 is way out here, sorry. And this one is also 16 as well. Okay. And then, of course, we did the 0dp match with it as well. So that actually aligns it properly with it. All right. So that's the fourth button, right? The last one, I like for you to do the same thing. Uh, 24, 16, 16, 0. Uh, click on the last one. Expand that. Expand that. Expand that. Again, top number is again 24. Uh, left and right 16. And 0 dp. And that looks like this. So, right now, in this design, make sure you have what I have. Right now, it's about uh, almost 11 minutes. So, I'm going to stop this part 4 right now. Okay. That concludes part 4.